the the thought on eco fashion uh it, it, it came out really very much because i'm involved in another uh sort of a grouping outside uh, ncaf where i have been involved with the uh, Lash- london fashion week and um i came to know quite a bit of stuff there that i thought might be something we could somehow bring together with uh, uh with ncaf uh because i mean there are people here who will know much better than me that the global fashion industry produces uh greenhouse gas emissions to the equivalent of 1.2 billion co2 per year more than shipping and aviation combined and that cotton use is uh using huge amounts of water and uh, driving drought in many countries and that in turn is driving water wars i mean we are seeing we are seeing all of this in real time now not to mention pollution and um these these have huge unsustainable resource impl- implications and the uk i discovered uh one of the most consumer orientated societies in the world where research has shown we buy 28 items of clothing a year um is is is, is a fantastic uh, you know um uh, consumer of uh, these materials so i i clearly feel there is a discussion to be had and a way in which maybe we can alter some habits for the better by being creative now you know me for at least 35 years frances and you know i'm not a great fashionista but uh, i got involved in this london fashion week and you know uh, very much inspired by what we were doing at ncaf i talked to some of these fashion designers and one of them actually took us up on the idea of actually sourcing materials in this country not going abroad to source materials and to use as much uh in the way of staff people everything in this country rather than growing abroad you know there might be something there of the collaboration as he says maybe a an eco fashion hub because you know fashion is a is something attractive and people are interested in it young people you know they might want to come to it and you know shockingly i find that uh in the recycling 1% of textiles are recycled according to some of the figures i'm seeing there's a lot more that we can we could possibly be doing there and the other thing that comes to mind you talk about employment well i am still in touch with the garment workers so i used to represent many years ago some of them and you know these are people all with the skills because it's a very skill intensive business where you pick you know zips out and things this is all done by hand and it could possibly provide some people with an employment possibility mm, you know uh to to pick out those kind of things you know something that machines can't do but you know it it it, it would it would certainly employ people and could be done in such a way that particularly i'm thinking of women who might have school hours and so on you know it's something that might work so there's a discussion to be had there <laughs>